Hi everyone, um, this period of time now is 25 years, the 25th anniversary of Memorial since the genocide in Rwanda in 1994. So in a 100 day period, 800,000 Tutsis uh, were killed, massacred by the Hutu majority. Uh, the plane of the president had been downed and it was suspected that Tutsis had arranged this. Um, and that led to, that was the trigger for this massacre and this genocide. And I'm really pleased that on Sunday night at eight o'clock in synagogue, we're hosting the head of a Rwandan foundation in Britain that supports Rwandans uh, who left Rwanda uh, because of the genocide. He was actually the captain of the national football team um, and was helped out by Hutu colleagues of his football team. Uh, he's called Eric Emurangwa and he's going to talk about his experiences and it really would be great to see you there to, um, to support a wonderful event. The genocide, of course, throws up very similar issues than we face as Jews, of course, post-Holocaust. So one of those, for instance, is how do you bring to justice the perpetrators of a genocide? And there were thousands, uh, if not more, Rwandans who needed justice. And the international tribunal could only uh, um, bring to trial 50 to 60 individuals. Uh, interestingly enough, in Rwanda... They set up tens of thousands of local village courts. They called them gachacha courts, where people would literally sit down in a village by a tree and try people who they suspected of being part of the genocide. This might have fell short of international legal standards, but it got through many, many more people, uh, uh, many of whom were imprisoned and given punishments. Uh, um, and it also brought to... Uh, um, reconciliation. It meant that people could, as gachacha means, sit down and talk it out. The second question is, of course, dealing with ethnicity, because in Rwanda today it's almost illegal to talk about ethnicity because of the genocide. Uh, um, and the question is whether that's right, whether maybe that means that we put under the carpet real issues of reconciling ethnic identities. Uh, the same issues, I suppose, may be in Northern Ireland and certainly in Bosnia. There's very little integration there now between Christian Bosnian Serbs and Bosnian Muslims. Uh, um, and so maybe more work is to be done there. And lastly, how do we remember? It always interests me to look at how people who from other groups and religions and peoples, how do they remember, commemorate, memorialise their a, um, traumatic past and how do they integrate that traumatic past into who they are as people so i would love to visit rwanda actually uh, and see how in kigali they built a memorial uh, to those just as when i was in, in srebrenica i was able to see the memorial to bosnian muslims who were killed of course uh, in 1995 uh, there uh, so wishing you a shabbat shalom uh, um, and it'd be great to see you uh, on sunday to hear Eric and his story, um, and, and as Jews we can show such solidarity for others who have suffered over the last decades as well. But have a great, great Shabbat.